welcome back to my channel. Today's look is inspired by my Chemical Romance Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge album. Um, I decided to do like a little throwback look for you guys. So if you guys want to know how to do this look, please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yes, I did. I created this, this little slut band. I know it like Maybe not everyone knows or remembers this, but like this, I remember seeing this and I was like, I have to have it. And I never did, I never got one. It was like, I don't know if it was a patch or sweatband, but anyways, I created the little band around my arm to give it a little aesthetic look, if you will. Um, anyways, yeah, let's go. Well, as you guys can tell, I already applied foundation. I didn't put anything on my eyelids except for primer and it's this guy right here morphe eye primer i'm gonna use the blood sugar palette here this has a variety of reds which are perfect for this look that i'm going for this right here super contrasted in this photo so i'm gonna try to make it look like that as much as i can yeah, here we go. First brush, I've used this a few times, applying white powder, kind of a flat tapered brush. If you guys have the James Charles palette, you can use the white in there as well. I'm actually going to use that white in the James Charles palette called Flashback, because mine's hit pan in this one, so I'm going to go ahead and apply that under the brow. I was a huge fan of my chem back in the day. Sad to say that I did kind of lose interest after the Black Parade album. I know you guys don't come for me. Uh, I just really enjoyed the imagery of the Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge album. I thought it was really unique and it told a story. The Black Parade took me a minute to kind of understand. I was a freshman in high school when that album came out and I liked it. It was pretty good. I really enjoyed Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. You know, being artsy at the time, drawing a lot, I was in art class, it was very inspirational to me to my art. I'm going to use a tapered brush here. I'm going to apply in the inner corners here and running it down under the eye. Usually where like your dark circles are, like that's where I'm going to apply it. So I'm going to go into a shade called Cherry Soda. Very lightly taking that in there. I'm trying to create kind of a tire line, like you're exhausted. I'm going to just kind of get a gist of where I'm going to be placing my makeup and then we're going to go in there and intensify it. So I'm going to carry that up here, up to the brow almost, and across into the crease. Right here is all covered. And carry that out. And then under the eye, following that, I'm going to take that to about there because I'm going to use a more precise brush to get in there. I first started listening to them. I think it was 2004 and I was a huge fan. I had posters everywhere. I had them in my binder. I, I went and got their two t-shirts at Hot Topic. It was like the album cover on the front and then the other one was red and it had like um, headstones on the shoulder kind of like up here. And I always wanted the sweatband, which I created with paint on my arm earlier. I was like, just feeling all nostalgic. I kind of discovered them after 7th grade. And then 8th grade, I moved to a new school when I was in junior high. And I, I was really obsessed. And I always wanted to see them in concert. And I think like back, back to school shopping and I had to get their album. Yeah, so... Life on the Murder Scene came out and I was like, I have to buy that album and of course I, I had to get clothes but I was like, I'd rather have the album than clothes <laughs> and so I got that. I came, it came out like spring of 2006 I think. So I was a freshman at that time. I think it was like before the Black Prairie came out. That was a cool, cool time kind of grown out of it as I got older. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush here 
So I'm just going to kind of diffuse the outside a little bit here. I'm going to take that brush and I'm going to go into the shade called Fresh Meat. It's a darker red. Go in there and pack and blend that under eye and then follow it up. I love those, those days when you didn't have to uh, worry about anything but art and school. I mean, this Morphe M506 brush. I just realized that I haven't been naming off any brushes, but I think the ones that I three brushes didn't even have code names or anything, so they're like all brush sets from Morphe. I'm gonna use the color called Extraction and go to the outer corner. And I'm like using a really light hand doing this. I'm gonna use that same brush, the Morphe M506. I'm gonna go into the shade called Coma. It's like a dark plum color. I'm gonna go in there and darken the outer corner and carry that into the crease. And I'm gonna go back in and blend those edges. Everything is very rounded on the outside. We're gonna go in with some black. I'm going to use a Morphe M321 brush. I'm gonna use the shade called Spooky again and it's this black shade in the James Charles palette and I'm just gonna build that up very lightly. So we still want to keep that red but we want to like darken it. We don't want it to be too too black. I'm gonna go in with that black brush dip into Fresh Meat and Extraction. Go on the inner part of my eye and then connect out like that. I'm gonna add just a little extra black under right here against the lash one. I'm gonna add mascara. So, okay, so I'm gonna apply my lip sleep mask. I always apply this before my liquid lipsticks um, just because my lips are super dry and this kind of keeps a barrier of moisture underneath so they don't crack and split and do all that stuff that lipstick does. Okay, so. I'm going to do a little bit of a change up. I don't really want to do the red on the inner part. I want to have black lipstick because I feel like this is just a calling for black lipstick, this look. So the one I'm using is by Black Moon Cosmetics and it's called Sleepwalker and it is pure black and it is a dream because I've always wanted black lipstick. So I'm going to apply lipstick. I'm so, oh, look at that pigment though. 